Hi, it's time for another verb of the day. Today's verb is shine. Let's take a look at some of the definitions or the ways that we use this verb. The first way you're likely to hear shine used is to mean to give off or to make light. So with this first definition, we can think about uh, things in our environment, uh, the sun, the moon, stars, making or giving off light. But we could also use this to describe uh, a lamp, a flashlight, something else that's going to give off or make light. A second way you'll hear shine used is to mean to be bright with emotion. So many times when we use this uh, definition uh, or, or meaning for this particular verb, we're, we're oftentimes referring to someone's eyes um, and if they kind of uh, appear to, to give off light. <laughs> a third way you'll hear shine used is to mean to direct a light somewhere in order to see something. And usually that something is in the dark. So you might hear this uh, with a command. Like shine the flashlight this direction as someone attempts to repair or work on something. A fourth way you'll hear shine used as a verb is to mean to be very talented or to perform very well. You'll hear about athletes shining in certain moments or in certain competitions, sports, etc. We also tend to use this uh, with many performers, singers, actors, etc. A fifth way you'll hear shine used is to mean to make an object bright by rubbing or polishing it. Now, when I think of this, um, I, two things immediately come to mind. Uh, the first is shoes, and particularly leather shoes. So many times people will uh, use a, a polish, a brush, uh, something in order to kind of make their shoes a bit brighter. Uh, something else you might uh, think of with this um, is silverware. So some people will, again, uh, try to polish the silverware to make it brighter, maybe before uh, a big event, before hosting uh, a gathering of some kind. Now, shine is a very interesting verb because it is both irregular and regular. But the good thing is, when, whenever we use the progressive form of this, it's always going to be the same. So to make the progressive form, I have a vowel consonant E, so I'm going to drop the E before I add the ing suffix. And that will form shining, shining. Okay? Now, the irregular past tense is going to have a spelling change. It's S-H-O-N-E, and we pronounce it shown, shown, long O sound there. And we're going to use this irregular past tense with the first four definitions that are on the screen. So everything except the rubbing and polishing an item. Okay, All of those other ones will use shown. And for that fifth definition, that is going to be a regular past tense uh, verb. Uh, so for that, all I need to do is add D since I have a verb that already ends in E. Our base verb, shine, n, ends in a voiced N sound. This means the past tense ending is going to make a D sound. So the past tense uh, regular form of this should sound like this. Shined, shined. Okay. Now uh, let's take a moment to discuss phrasal verbs. There are a number of phrasal verbs with shine, and we're actually going to focus most, most of our discussion today on some of those phrasal verbs. The first that you might encounter is to shine at. This means that someone is really good at something. An example of this might be, those students really shine at geometry. So after that, at is many times going to be what they are excelling in that something. So here's an example of a simple present sentence. Um, I, in my, I, I'm giving an opinion or, or something I might think is a fact, but I'm talking about a group of students who are very good at this particular math subject. The next phrasal verb you might encounter is shine on. 
there are two ways or two different meanings for this particular verb. And I want to note these are not uh, phrasal verbs I encounter very often in conversation or when I'm reading. Um, I think you might uh, run into it a little more um, if you're speaking um, uh, with someone who uh, is from Great Britain, um, that might be a little a little bit more common than it is here in the United States. But we can still talk about it. So uh, the first phrasal verb, or phrasal verb meaning for shine on is to trick someone or to lie to someone in order to avoid responsibility for something. An example of this might be, don't shine on us. We know you are responsible for the missing money. So here, someone's uh, giving that imperative, the command here, uh, telling others, uh, or uh, I guess it could be others. Uh, uh, we don't know if this is you singular or you plural, uh, but you can't lie to us. You can't trick us. We have knowledge that you are responsible. A second way you'll hear shine on used is to mean to insult or aggregate aggravate someone. So you might be trying to start an argument or start some type of, of disagreement or fight. An example of this could be the coach quit when he realized his players would just shine on him on after losses. So um, maybe a, a lot of insulting, uh, trying to get a, a could be a verbal or physical fight started after uh, these losing games. That's what that sentence is describing. The next phrasal verb we'll discuss is to shine out. This phrasal verb is used to uh, describe uh, when a particular quality is very strong and clear. An example of this, his kindness and generosity shine out in his daily actions and words. So here I'm talking about two qualities, someone's kindness, their, their generosity, their giving to others. And I'm saying these are very strong, very obvious to see qualities. Let's continue looking at a few more phrasal verbs. The next one uh, is a, a little similar to shine through, means to be clearly evident. Okay, an example of this. Her creativity shone through everything she did from decorating her home to planning holiday get-togethers. So here's an example of the simple past tense. Um, and, and again, we're talking about a quality here. Um, I borrowed a, a sentence very similar to this uh, from an obituary describing uh, the life someone had lived and what kind of person. Um, and this person's family and friends felt, felt it was very clear this person presented uh, a lot of, or possessed, I should say, had a lot of creativity. And you could see it through, uh, in many different ways. Uh, at, in each day of her life. The next phrasal verb we'll discuss is to shine up or shine up to. Both of these mean to be extra nice to someone or to a group of people, but you're really only doing it to get their favor. So uh, have them do something maybe back or for your benefit. So um, what we're trying to describe here is uh, something that lacks sincerity. So uh, a person isn't being nice just because they think it's the right thing to do. They're thinking about what am I going to get in return? Let's take a look at an example sentence. He's been shining up to the professor in hopes it improves his grade. So this sentence is an example of the present perfect progressive. We have has been shining up to. So here He's being extra nice, maybe extra friendly, in hopes that a uh, teacher maybe will, will round up uh, and, and give him a higher grade. The last phrasal verb we're going to discuss today is to shine with. This means to have a particular quality, and, and that quality is very evident in your face, in your eyes, um, something of that nature. So an example of this, her eyes shone with delight. Okay. I feel like you would see a sentence like this uh, in a piece of literature, kind of helping us sort of paint this picture uh, of kind of like a brightness coming from someone's eyes because they're very happy, they're delighted. Okay. 
Now let's spend a moment looking at some words and phrases that are related to our verb of the day, shine. And the first word we're going to look at is just the noun form of this word. The noun shine has the exact same spelling and the exact same pronunciation. It can have a couple different meanings. One would be to refer to the quality of brightness um, that is produced when light is reflected or kind of you might think like bounce off of something. So an example of, of here, how I have heard this used a number of times in, in TV commercials, has your hair lost its shine? Or, so for some people, it's really important to kind of have that light bounce off uh, their hair. Um, think that's a, a really positive attribute or it, it makes them look good. It makes them maybe look young. Uh, and so again, uh, it's shine here. Uh, is is the noun form of that that word. The second way you'll hear the noun shine used is to refer to the act of rubbing or polishing something in order to give it a shiny surface. An example of that in a sentence, I need to give my shoes a shine before tomorrow's interview. So here, right, I'm going to maybe use some polish, try and make them look like they're new. This uh, connects to uh, another related word. It's the adjective shiny. So many times we use this to describe something that is reflecting light, something that appears very clean, very polished. Um, an example of this. Wow, your car looks so shiny and new. So sometimes after going through a car wash, you might have that thought of like, wow, it, it just looks so much brighter and cleaner. Now let's talk about a couple phrases you might encounter. The first phrase is to take the shine off and then what follows it is usually something. And when you hear this phrase used, it means that the excitement of something is being spoiled. Something is kind of being ruined. So an example of that. The controversy surrounding Qatar's human rights record took the shine off the World Cup. There were many football and soccer fans who had a hard time watching the World Cup this year, knowing uh, that the host country has uh, been responsible for um, some, some really horrible things. So I hope that helps illustrate that idea of, of kind of spoiling or ruining the excitement of something. The last phrase we're going to look at today is to take a shine to. When someone uses this phrase, they're talking about developing a liking for someone or something. An example of this, the toddler has taken a shine to his new baby sister. So sometimes uh, older kids might not be so excited to, to have a new sibling, but in this case, we are indicating that a toddler, so maybe a two, three-year-old, really does like the new baby. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you have a great day.